Hey guys, how's it going? Justin here, and today we're gonna to be looking at how to make sure your skin tones are always accurate. This is a simple tip that a lot of colorists use, but I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this inside of After Effects, and if we have some time, we'll probably do it inside of Premiere Pro. It's a very simple tip, and it kinda of just helps you make sure that your skin tones are always accurate, because at the end of the day, before you start color grading, you have to color correct your footage, and color correction is simply the act of making sure your blacks are black, your whites are whites, your skin tones are matching and accurate, in each shot per scene and that everything just looks smoothly and, and everything's essentially color balanced before you go in and do the creative look of the, of the scene. So without further ado, let's go on ahead and get started. So first off, we have a shot here shot on the Blackmagic Cinema Camera in Log. And what we're gonna be looking at is how to make sure his skin tones are balanced. So what we have right here is a um, vector scope. And the way to get that in After Effects is you'll go, uh, go to Window, Lumetri Scopes. And so what I'm gonna do is just add some Lumetri color. And I'm just gonna just do a very, very simple color correction. I'm just gonna add some, why can't I find it? Saturation, just bring that up. Obviously it's a bit oversaturated. And we can just do a very simple S-curve just to bring out some contrast. Now obviously for my taste, this is very oversaturated, but this is just gonna help get the point across. Now obviously if you were inside of DaVinci Resolve, you'd create a power window, but let's say if you were doing some color correction inside of After Effects or Premiere Pro, where you simply just use masking tools, what you'd do is hit G on the keyboard, and let's say we wanna make sure that his skin tone, or not even his skin tone, let's make sure his skin tone is accurate. So you could just simply sample, just grab this and check. Where does his skin tone lie on the vector scope? Because you always want to make sure your skin tones are right here on the flesh tone line, right in between yellow and red. Doesn't matter what ethnicity you are, you could be African American, Chinese, or Caucasian. Um, the pigment of our skin is all the same. It is always going to be right here on this flesh tone line. So right here we can see it is a little bit more on the warm yellow side. So what we can go ahead and do is just simply offset that by, typically you want to go into your mid-tones because if you're shooting a standard scene, your skin tones are usually in the mid-tones unless you're underexposed or maybe you're shooting a night scene, then it'll most likely be the shadows. But let's say we just do a simple, let's just bring this over right onto the flesh tone line. And we can just go ahead and delete this mask and boom, his skin tone already looks better. We can, you can see we've introduced a bit more blue and magenta into the, uh, into the shot, but it looks a lot better and, and I'm sure his skin tone matches as well. And something that I like to do is I like to download professionally color graded frames, whether it's from movies or music videos, and I like to put them in my editing software and see the way it looks in my vector scope or my parade. So for example, what we have here is we have Batman. Um, so we have Batman here, and this is obviously a very, very, very warm scene. This is just completely like sepia tone, warm, Zack Snyder, very stylized. Uh, shot and this was I believe graded all the DC movies are graded at company three So this is obviously for the story to flashback if you guys have seen Batman v Superman This is obviously a flashback scene. It's been graded to look like this Obviously that is not Henry Cavill's skin tone So what you can go ahead and do if you want to see what his skin tone would look like as you can see it's way off in the yellow This guy right here is his skin tone so we could simply hit G sample some of his skin Boom, as you can see, yep, it's kind of drifting off into the yellow. Just bring in some blues, bring this in. And now we'll actually be able to see what his skin tone would theoretically look like. And boom, the shot is a lot bluer, which we would expect in the shadow area, but this is a lot closer to what his skin tones would be in real life on set. So another example of that is we have Rihanna here. And um, obviously, this was colored by Dave Hussey at Company 3. And, you know, of course, they got to make Rihanna look good and everything. You know, she's a big pop star. So if we look at her skin tone, it is probably not right on the flesh line because sometimes you could either have it be in the red or a little bit in the yellow. But as long as it's in that general vicinity, then you are golden. So if you want to see how you do it in Premiere, it's very simple. This is my short film, Angora Road, that we're wrapping up right now. And these are two Caucasian people. She has a little bit more life in her skin. Sorry, Adam, if you're watching this, you're a little bit, he's a little bit more pale. She has a little bit more of a tan. But even if we were to just go and sample her skin tone, boom, it's right on the money. It's right on the flesh tone line, which is right where you want it to be. And even if we sample his skin tone, it is still right on the flesh tone line. It's just not as far up because he doesn't have as much saturation and vibrance to his skin tone because that's just, that's just how he is. 
But anyways, I hope this tip was helpful for you guys. It's just a simple way to make sure that your skin tones are accurate. Um, let me see if I have another example. So, oh, so, okay, so we have Wonder Woman here. And so what I like to do is just check. Let's check these skin tones. Boom, not as saturated, but it is right on the flesh tone line. Anyways, guys, that is it for this quick tutorial. I hope this tip was useful for you guys in making sure that your skin tones are always accurate and consistent, which is pretty much your main focus when you're color correcting your footage. But once again, guys, my name is Justin Melson. Please, please feel free to follow me on social media if you want to keep up with my films and tutorials that I'm working on on a daily basis. But anyways, guys, my name is Justin Melson, and I'll see you guys next time.